At the end of every year, I like to make predictions on what I think will happen in the following year. Simple stuff like who's going to win the Super Bowl, which game's going to win Game of the Year, and will I finally hit Diamond and Valorant? And most of the time, I'm wrong. However, I found in one specific instance, I wasn't actually wrong. I was just early to the party. You see, in late 2021, I predicted that IRL streaming was going to blow up. You know, end of COVID lockdown. People are traveling, filming it. Other people are watching it. Turns out that people wanted to live it themselves, though. In fact, not only did IRL streaming fall off, all of live streaming fell off after 2021, where it peaked in April and May. But 2023 has been a huge resurgence for live streaming. And I'm sure you're aware of this if you think to some clips you might have seen over the past six or so months. And one of the biggest examples of this is FouseyTube, who live streamed every second of his life, including traveling around, going to airports, and other clips I'm sure you've seen. He even was IRL streaming while getting arrested from a cop trying to stream through their body cam. I got a big penis. It could hurt you a lot. Jesus, I'm gay. Nine inches. Is that on body cam? I'll fuck you so good till you love me. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And there is a specific term that I like to use for these types of IRL streamers that are having a huge 2023. And it's an anything for view streamer, right? It is a lot different than IRL streaming as it was for a few years before COVID. That sort of IRL streaming behavior of really doing anything kind of died with Ice Poseidon when he got banned off of Twitch. It was basically platform saying, hey, this is too edgy. This is too crazy. You cannot do anything for views out in public. It causes real harm to those around you and you need to cut it out. But it's had a big resurgence with kick.com. There's a lot of people who are using Kick, which has more lax rules, to bring back that anything for views mentality and harass people. And there's one person in specific that I want to talk about today, Johnny Somali. You might have seen this clip before of Johnny in the uh, trains of Japan uh, harassing people by saying stuff like this. You hear Hiroshima? You know Hiroshima? Nagasaki? You know? Why you do this? Pearl Harbor? Basically going up to anybody he can see in Japan and say, hey, why why did you do Pearl Harbor? And then bringing up the two sites where atomic bombs were uh, exploded, uh, uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And, and he does this nonstop. Hey, Hiroshima. Move away, nigga. Nigga, wallahi, we do again. Wallahi, I swear to God. Wallahi, wallahi, we do again. And that's basically it. That clip blew up and it gave him a lot of negative attention from people not only in the States, but also in Japan. And what was Johnny's reaction to this? <laughs> it's free promo. It's free promo. He was pumped. Oh, it got so many views. Free promo. This is great for me, which is why I never really talked about it. But finally, justice has been served to Johnny because he got arrested by Japanese police. But to talk about that, first, I must show you the justice that some people in Japan were taking in their own hands. You see, after that clip happened, Johnny kept doing that sort of stuff. He kept walking up and live streams saying, you know, Hiroshima, Nagasaki, trying to get a rile out of those around him. Uh, and, and he stopped doing it because he had a couple instances where it didn't go very well. Here's the first one. Bread first. Drop the bread first. This ain't safe, man. Shut the fuck up. Okay, that, hey, all my real niggas hop in Discord right now. Hop in Discord. Oh, whoa, 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 what the fuck? Yo, you tripping, nigga. Yo, what the fuck? Relax, nigga, relax, relax. Perhaps he should have heeded the warning from James Lead about that one. It wasn't very safe. It wasn't very safe. He got jumped in Japan and, and laid out on the streets and his all his equipment destroyed. Uh, and then it happened again, like about 10 days ago. Man, hey, 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 and what? Just, Just don't, don't grab my camera. <laughs> All you have to say Don't is Don't grab I'm nothing. Oh. Where he got knocked the fuck out by some person that he was harassing in the streets of Japan. Listen to the noise he makes as he swings and not only knocks out the camera, but knocks out Johnny in a clean hit. That's, cra that's a crazy noise. Uh, and ever since then, it seems as though Johnny is less excited about people spreading around his clips. He's somewhat nervous about it getting very popular in Japan and then basically getting hurt or worse. Uh, and has been DMCA takedown, uh, uh, giving DMCA takedown notices to almost all the videos and clips about like the train incident or any of the other incidents where he is harassing people. Uh, he's, he's going crazy on the copyright takedowns. It's very hard to now find those clips. Uh, and it, there was a weird 
justice that was trying to be found by live streamers, YouTubers, vigilantes, and even Yakuza members in Japan. Basically, three different people all tried to confront Johnny to try to get him to apologize. And from Johnny's POV, again, it's anything for views. So if a Japanese YouTuber or live streamer is going to go up and say, hey, say go menasai into the camera and mean it, he will say it if he can get away with it and then go back to doing the same shit the next day. Look, here's his apology with a vigilante YouTuber guts. Where he's supposed to repeat everything he says, it's, it's embarrassing. This is not an apology. This is, not a, this is a fucking clown show right here. And yeah, there's even the former Yakuza member who unsuccessfully uh, unsuccessfully ran for political office who tried to get him to uh, to bow and apologize for his mistakes. This is for CX. This is for Paul Dinino, Ice Poseidon in Japan. But listen to him. This is for Paul Donino in Japan. Like, he's, he's making a mockery of it. I don't know why anyone's even attempting to get him to pay his respects or make apologies for it. Uh, because what did he do directly after all of those apologies? He went to Tokyo Disneyland, where you're not allowed to IRL stream, with a little microphone or a little speaker that anybody could play any sound off of. And, of course, what are the people who are watching him going to play? <laughs> Atomic Bomb. He doesn't give a shit, bro. He doesn't care. It is anything for views. And I normally wouldn't talk about this because I don't want to give more attention to him. However, it all ends today because Johnny has been arrested by Japanese police. Here he is getting confronted. This happened just today, like 12 hours ago. I think they're reading out what he, what what happened, calling him a suspect, showing him some of the evidence, and then they arrest him. They turn off his equipment, and as he walks away, he yells like "Free Johnny" or something, and there it is. He is now detained by Japanese police. And if you don't know how it works when you're detained by Japanese police, it isn't good. They can detain you for up to 30 days without even charging you. They just keep you in there, and oftentimes that is their deterrent for crime, even if they don't have an ability to charge, is just to throw you in their jails for a while and then deport you and never allow you to re-enter the country, which would definitely be a good thing for the people of Japan for what he is doing. Uh, what was the final thing that the police arrested him for? Was it for walking around and harassing people? No, I don't know if that's technically a crime, but it was actually for this clip right here. crossed into a construction zone, which is super illegal because it can be incredibly dangerous to those who are working there. Oh, he's going into the warehouse? Now nah, this is wild. <laughs> the this, I'm just is a funny. cameraman right here. <laughs> I'm just a cameraman. I don't know what the fuck is going on right now. I am sorry. Oh, he's going in the warehouse, dog. <laughs> He's going oh to the warehouse. God, You're also man, going in with him, by the way. did I get myself into? A mistake. You got yourself into a big mistake. <laughs> And that's the clip. That's the clip. That's him. <laughs> and then he yells Fukushima, which obviously a huge disaster happened in Japan like about a decade ago. Uh, but but he won't be able to do that anymore. He won't be able to harass the people of Japan. Normally, it laid on the shoulders of, of platforms like Twitch or YouTube to ban these people and basically deplatform them so that they cannot just be nuisances to society. But in this case, because you are able to go a little further a lot further on kick.com it was up to the country of japan and they've finally done it and this has gone mega viral in japan it's like a huge news story you can see here this is an official japanese news site 5.7 million views and it says the masked intruder at a construction site has been arrested uh there's also an article about it they're trying to find the cameraman as well uh, and I was able to uh, understand most of this, by the way, because of this Twitter user, Jeffrey Hall, super cool Twitter uh, user. He just reports on stuff happening in Japan in English so I can read it and understand it. Uh, but but it, but yeah, that's it. That's it's fucking cringe as shit. Uh, I hope it stops. I hope Kit gets a little more moderation going on. Right. You know, maybe punish people if they're being that obscene. I cannot IRL stream. I hate IRL streaming. I have something in my brain that is like, hey, you're being fucking annoying as shit to those around you. How about you be a little more respectful? So I don't do it. But some people get that, got that Logan Paul brain. 
They, they do whatever the hell they need. They film whatever the hell they want. And it's a huge disaster when you're doing it while live streaming because so much more can happen and you're capturing all of it. And I think it's a bit of a dangerous trend to be going down. It harkens back to the, the Ice Poseidon RV era and in a, in a little more moderation might save that category from becoming basically who can be the worst human competition. Anyway, that's it. That's all. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Goodbye. See you later. Goodbye. Have a good one.